every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. I'd love to share a remarkable story with you about a spiritual journey. A story that has the power to strengthen your faith and also help your crafting soar to new levels. Unannounced, a gift would fall from above that reshaped the foundation of my faith and ultimately set me on a spiritual trajectory that would last for the next 20 days. For unto me a branch had been sent, and I know now that God sent that branch to me just as the dove returned to Noah with a sprig, only mine is way bigger. God then said, let this branch restore your faith, replenish your patience, and become the paradise you seek. O oh Lord, I am here to serve thee, and I shall transform this blessed branch into your kingdom on earth. I will spread your word with this crafting project and show those on earth a window into heaven. This is the story of that craft project. Uh, so here's the branch over here. Uh, let's just walk over there and take a look. Uh, it's been sitting out here for about 11 months or so, so it's pretty nicely seasoned. Uh, I've been trying to pick the garbage off it. Uh, I come out here weekly and get all the stuff that is sitting around and on it to keep it nice and tidy out here. I clean up at least a condom or two a week off of this thing. Uh, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the first thing the good Lord would want me to do is to gold plate this uh, with 24 karat solid gold. Uh, I don't have any experience doing that. Let's see, we got a baggie here. Looks like we got a little, little meth left in the corner there. So I'm going to go to YouTube this afternoon and let's see, we got a can down here. Uh, I'll go to YouTube this afternoon and see if I can get some tips on that. So I was looking on YouTube and gold plating things is actually pretty simple. I just need to cover the branch in some type of electroconductive paint, gather a few basic supplies like a rectifier, uh, an exchange pump, a few gallons of nitric acid, and a container to submerge the branch in. I'll need a pretty big container for this and I'll also need to be super careful that the neighbors don't catch me as I'll probably end up uh, using their hot tub. I'm just going to start uh, trimming trimming the branch down now because the neighbors couldn't afford uh, a bigger hot tub. I had to take a break from pruning the branch. As with all projects, planning is critical to the success of the project. Uh, my God-fearing friend Greg always says, measure twice, cut once. So I was over at the neighbor's house measuring that old hot tub discreetly and it just took a while because uh, one of their kids was in the tub. So I'm going to finish uh, trimming this, pruning this to its final size and then we'll be back when we're ready to start the gold plating process. So I was on Amazon putting together the stuff I needed to get this project finished and when I hit the car total it was over $28,000. Uh, I've always believed that work in God's name is priceless so when I told my wife that we're going to have to sell some of her stuff I was really shocked when she said no way. Uh, this is also the person that wanted to dismember this holy branch with a chainsaw so Lord remember that on Judgment Day. first learned that I was chosen to craft with God I was like Lord I am not worthy I literally suck at crafts what are you thinking seriously but 
then I realized that it was Satan speaking because I don't even swear. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because it does seem like an awful lot for a craft project. So I will pray for guidance and he will provide. Uh, so I fell asleep praying last night. Uh, it's about 7 in the morning and I just looked out the window from upstairs and I'm running outside to see what happened to the branch overnight. Uh, hey, uh, come here, you're not going to believe this. I, I must be dreaming because it looks like this branch is turning. I must be dreaming because it looks like this branch has turned to solid gold overnight. Oh, praise Jesus. I guess one of the perks of crafting with God is the occasional miracle. Thought you could have fixed the cracks in the driveway, I guess, while you were at it. Oh, but thanks, buddy. Oh, oh this can't be real. Oh, f that's hot. Man, I hope that thing ain't radioactive, too. I'm gonna grab my dagger counter and take a look at the footage from the security camera last night while this cools down. Uh, so I've been watching this footage now for a couple of hours while my burn heals, and this looks like pretty textbook miracle stuff. So I'm just gonna grab a few things, we can head back outside. All right, let's head back outside now. Uh, so this limb is still really warm and seriously radioactive. So I got this lead-lined oven mitt. I gotta get this thing off of the easement and onto our property because I'm afraid that people are gonna start stealing chunks of it. So, oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to move this on my own. Let me go next door and see if I can get the kids to help me. Uh, you can see that we were unable to get this onto our property and just too many young lives were sacrificed in the name of this to continue in good conscience. I just rented a forklift to lower it into this big flower pot here. A God told me last night that if I made birds from tin foil, he could easily change them into 24 karat solid gold, no problem. I'll just go inside and make a flock of birds and I'll be right back. Uh, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Reynolds Wrap, for this next segment. Uh, I really don't think I trust my mirror with any other foil. I know we can't all come out on top in the high stakes world of crafting, and some will say I had an unfair advantage, probably because they're just jealous. A hater's gonna hate, but I couldn't be happier with the outcome, and it just goes to show you that if I can do it, anyone can. Chic, elegant, and simply divine.